Before we begin, we want to make sure that we have all our materials ready at hand. After you guys have grabbed all your materials, you're going to start creating the armature to form your bird structure. So what you need to do is decide what works best for what component. The first thing I made was an aluminum foil ball and I just took a piece and crumpled it together. But the newspaper ball that I'm making needs to be taped and condensed even more. Newspaper does not hold its form as well as the aluminum foil. So what you'll notice is I'm doing tape around the outside of it and I do like a cross pattern. I go in one direction and then an opposite direction to crunch it in all ways. When I'm pulling the tape around it, I am pulling very hard to continually compress and then you can see the size difference between the two. When you're using small, when you're doing small details, you really want to do the aluminum foil because it's going to be much easier to form into those beak and talon type shapes. You really want to make a couple different structures and then piece them together and figure out the size proportions. The next thing I'm going to do is make a second aluminum foil ball, but what I notice is that it's too big because I couldn't remember the amount of aluminum foil I grabbed. It is extremely difficult to unfold crumpled up aluminum foil, so it's best to use that for something else or just toss it. So when I want to make two perfectly the same size, I'm going to measure the aluminum foil together before I crunch them up. That way I know that they'll have the same amount in them and be relatively the same size. When you're making your balls, it's okay to tap them on the table to kind of compress them and really make them a perfectly round shape. Take your time making these structures because this is what is going to, you're going to paper mache over and it's what your bird is going to look like. Once you've got your a few basic components you're going to start attaching them to the bottle. I noticed that the head was still too small so I did another layer of newspaper around and then I'm going to tape it one more time in that cross pattern. Don't skimp out on this because the newspaper when we paper mache it's going to get soggy and we don't want it to drip and droop and get smaller. So you really need to tape it well and really crunch it tight. Once you have it taped up you're going to tape it to the bottle. When you're taping to the bottle, you want to go in a couple different directions. If you have someone handy to help you hold things, then that would be beneficial. But I put a piece of tape on the bottle first, and then I wrap it over to kind of just hold it in place. As you can see, this method is not very stable. So what I'm going to do is reinforce by taping in another direction. Remember, when we paper mache over this, we want our armature to be extremely stable. My tape gets a little stuck, so I'm just going to rip it back at the base and put that in my trash pile, and I'm going to continue on with new, shorter pieces so I don't make that same mistake. If you notice the tape not going in the direction you want, just rip it and replace it to where it needs to go. Test and make sure that it's nice and strong. If you need to add more tape, add more tape. Remember, it can't be too strong. The next thing I'm going to do is test the size of the eyeballs that I've made. They look pretty good, so I'm going to attach them. To attach these in the most stable way, you'll want to use some toothpicks to poke through the aluminum foil and then down into the newspaper. You may not get it down all the way, so then you'll have to do what I've done and slide the aluminum foil ball down the toothpick and then trim the end. It may take a little bit of fussing with, but you'll get it. Just the toothpick is not enough. I'll have to go over them with a round of tape to really make sure they're going to stay. So I'm doing the same approach as I did with the newspaper onto the top of the bottle. Continue on in the same fashion for every component of your bird. Make sure you tape everything very well and wiggle things and check it all to make sure that it's held down securely. You can see the second eyeball did not go as smoothly as the first and I have to continue to add tape. After you complete your bird, please move on to any accessories. Think about what would be best for aluminum foil, what you might need to make a cardboard 
shape out of. For example, if I were making an artist bird and it had a palette, then a piece of cardboard cut into the palette shape would be the most beneficial for that, rather than trying to do it out of newspaper or aluminum foil. Think about the things that are going to be best for you and take your time, take it day by day, and good luck.